Hey guys, Nick here with another episode of 9 to 5 Crypto. Have you ever asked yourself, what in the hell happened to Rick Grimes? Carl! 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 And no guys, I don't have a Carl NFT yet. I'm probably just behind on the times. I'm not caught up on the Walking Dead TV show. And I also didn't read the comics. So yes, shame on me. Shame. But we're not just talking about The Walking Dead show or comics, we're talking about The Walking Dead Empires, a blockchain cryptocurrency game, and why I'm actually loading up on NFTs for this game right now. I'm also going to cover why I think right now is the perfect time to do so. So guys, let's get to the breakdown. Let's go. Before we dive right on in, we're going to actually do a quick high-level overview of what The Walking Dead Empires is all about. The Walking Dead Empires describes itself as a multiplayer survival game set in a treacherous world of AMC's The Walking Dead. Survive in the harsh reality by doing whatever it takes. Yes, whatever it takes. I'm not trying to die. While also teaming up with allies, competing against maniacal foes, and always be wearing of the dead. It is a zombie game after all. Now there's different actual NFTs that you can buy right now. You can get a lot of them off of the Gala Games store, but a lot of these prices have been bidded up considering the fact that each time a certain set of these are sold, the price of these NFTs then increase from the Gala Games store. But you can see that there's different labs that you can get that are gonna provide you some valuable supplies you know, health, medical supplies for your survivors to survive better. And there's also forges for weapons and all sorts of different things. Uh, there's also character packs that are gonna allow you to play as different characters and then give them essentially different bonuses, I believe. And these are all different rarities. Again, higher rarities are gonna let you earn more while you're playing. Further, if you're actually looking at NFTs to load up on right now, like I am, I'm actually going over to OpenSea and looking at their official site, the Walking Dead Empire site by Gala. Just always make sure that you're messing with collections that are verified. They have the blue check mark and you can make sure that it is verified by hovering over it as well because sometimes people like to put little photos in Photoshop things and make it look like it has a blue check mark, but it's not really verified. But as you can see here, there's different NFTs available right now, different characters, Kenji, which honestly, yeah, I had to look that one up because I wasn't really aware who Kenji was. I'm still not, to be honest, but there's different characters that you can see. There's Sherm, uh, Sonia, Sonia's more familiar. There's obviously some of the fan favorites Ezekiel Morgan Rosita Abraham rip poor Abraham uh, Daryl Carl yes Carl <laughs> Negan Mercer Maggie Eugene and so on and then there's also higher rarities of them again the higher the rarity the more you're gonna earn while playing and using that NFT in game but it doesn't stop there. There's also Georgia cookery. So there's different, you know, things you can have for your whole tribe, food sources for your whole tribe that are going to keep, keep them fed and probably, you know, be a survival mechanism to either keep them alive or provide stat bonuses for them to better on kill zombies. Then there's also some claims that are left over. There's a dead claim, Georgia. And I'm actually really interested in this one. Um, this is going to allow you to have your own little plot of land in a certain area. It's gonna allow you to develop your base, refugee, or stronghold here. And once you're fully leveled, these plots support a population of three players, eight owned structures, and provide 12 land shares. All of those stats just go up on the higher rarity as well. So there are some in-game bonuses depending on the rarity of the NFT that you're getting as well in the game of Walking Dead Empires. But if you look at the prices all time of these NFTs being out there in the wild, you can see that they've drastically come down in price, right? You were talking about these were hovering over half an Ethereum, almost all the way up to Ethereum back in January 8th of 2022, earlier this year. And then they've really sold off and gotten really cheap. So guys, that's why I think right now is the perfect time to be loading up on these um, just from a discount perspective from a price perspective they're really cheap and these are nfts after all these are something that hey if it turns out that you don't like the walking dead game um, if you don't want to play it or at some point you just don't have time to play anymore you can always come back to OpenSea and resell these and get either roughly your value back from your nft or maybe potentially even make money off of it but it doesn't stop there guys and why i think right now is the perfect time to be loading up on these nfts there's a lot of hype that's going to be coming up on this game because there's an upcoming play test yes guys we will be play testing the walking dead empires on august 30th and i'm very very excited about that so here's a quick little breakdown on the article the walking dead empire summer extravaganza Woo! 
We are thrilled to announce that a pre-alpha demo will be available to play starting August 30th at 12 p.m. Pacific. Now they have some technicalities with every pre-alpha or beta. And again, almost the development, if you look at some of the screenshots and video footage of this game, it looks to me closer to like a beta, but I'm not a game developer, but they're stating that their game is in a pre-alpha demo. So, you know, don't be too harsh on it. That might just be cushioning terms at this point, but who knows? But should difficulties be encountered, we may be required to perform server maintenance, potentially limiting access to the game or resulting in a loss of progress. Now there's more details on this, and that's kind of a shame if they do have technical difficulties. I hope they don't, but if they do, hopefully they extend the time you can play because you can only play this for 48 hours, guys. And I want to reiterate something while we talk about this limited time opportunity to play. And that is because every time that you play one of these demos, like Mirandas, if you're playing, you know, even the beta of Spider Tanks, you're earning something. So you guys can get in there and start earning, you know, essentially placeholders or the cryptocurrency asset of the game itself. So it pays to be early. And if you're not even earning necessarily a crypto asset, just holding an NFT in one of these games, you often at times are airdropped a different NFT or you have some bonuses while you wait for the game to be developed so but if you get in early again you can get different sor sorts of rewards and that's sometimes nft airdrops that's cryptocurrencies that's all sorts of stuff so it pays to play and it pays to be early so consider jumping in and playing the walking dead empires as soon as possible further a lot of these do require that you have an nft to earn some sort of bonus while you are playing them like the mirandas demos you had to have an nft in mirandas so i would consider potentially getting an nft again not just for the reason to get free crypto or free nft airdrops but also for the fact that i think once this game gets closer to launch the value of all these nfts will increase over time for only 48 hours you and your friends will get your first small taste of the perilous world our team has been meticulously building our team has worked tirelessly to bring a vibrant yet gritty world to life that captures the beauty and terror of amc's the walking dead which yeah if you look at it it's a little bit more cell shaded and cartoony maybe not gritty film grain you know all over every episode and scene but even the walking dead tv show kind of moved away from that aspect but again it looks almost like a comic book in a sense brought to life with you know full color and everything Thing and it's just it looks enjoyable it looks cool and and maybe it needs to look a little extra grittier but maybe some of that will change and maybe they'll put a film grain filter on it yay we are excited for everyone to have the opportunity to explore a vast world of the size that will be nine ancient plots in the full game which is a hard thing to really grasp because i don't really understand what one ancient plot's going to be but they do leave a reference here and they say for those who attended galaverse only two months ago and played that demo this slice of the demo is going to be nine times bigger so guys, is this game is going to be very expansive, very big it sounds like, and it just looks like there's going to be a bunch of different factions and tribes and different player factions out there that are going to be, you know, gunning for your resources. Get combat ready. We have also been focusing on combat improvements. The team has made many revisions to our current arsenal weapons, only a fraction of what is planned for launch. So there's going to be more strategic and balanced feels coming to the game. They're going to be balanced and tuning different weapons, but there's going to be different strategy implemented in what kind of guns or weapons, melee weapons you're going to be building or bringing and it also sounds like these weapons are going to be applicable across the board to different survivors so i had some wariness when i was originally considering getting morgan the nft survivor you know morgan from the walking dead because he just has like a stick and i didn't want to just be melee focused but it sounds like you're going to actually be able to have ranged weapons no matter what character you are now each nft or each character specific one will probably have different bonus traits etc but again you'll be able to essentially probably run around with a gun with Morgan, which might be a little out of character. And again, mentioning that this is only two days, it runs from August 30th at 12 p.m. Pacific time and ends at 12 p.m. Pacific time on September 1st. So guys, it's a very limited window to get in there, try the game out and get rewarded, likely rewarded, considering all the ga other Gala games that reward you. And there's an upcoming sale, guys. So this is another cool piece of news is that in addition to checking out the pre-alpha demo, you will soon also have a chance to claim an Arsenal Crafting Station the arsenal crafting station will be placed in game and allow players to craft ranged weapons so these are how you're going to get all your bows and arrows your crossbows you know your daryl bows whatever your pistols your ak's machine guns yeah you're going to be able to do this via your arsenal crafting station what's more is that the arsenal station itself is going to be 50 percent off when it launches so I don't know if you've looked at some of the prices of these, but again, you know, I don't think that they have great entry prices for a wide demographic of people. I mean, a wide group of people. I think a lot of people would say, holy crap, spending hundreds of dollars just for a piece of a single game versus like 
you know, I could buy 10, you know, PlayStation games or whatever for 500 bucks or 600 bucks. I could buy roughly 10 uh, PS4 games. And instead I'm, you know, spending that on like a freaking thing to cook food for my survivors. You know, it's sometimes a hard pill to swallow, but there's going to be opportunity here to get the arsenal half off. So if you're interested in that, that's the kind of opportunity I'd strike on. Also, streaming first looks, if you can't wait until August 30th to see yours truly out there, you know, with his mullet, with his mustache out there playing, well, they're teaming up with their favorite streamers and giving them first crack of the demo. Well, rip, that's not me. I'm dying. Yes, and after you're done giving your condolences, there's also an August AMA, another informative AMA is also on the horizon, currently scheduled for August 31st with the, some of the Walking Dead team, so you should be able to get some questions answered live in case you want to drop on in. Well guys, that is a wrap on the Walking Dead Empire's overview of why I'm so hype and excited to play this game and also why I'm loading up on the NFTs right now. Currently, I have a Rick Grimes NFT. I'm moving and expanding. I'm considering getting a base out there like a land deed, you know, for at least three survivors. So let me know if you need a camp to cook me some food or provide me some medical supplies. If you bring something, it's bring, bring your own resources. But guys, let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about Walking Dead Empire? What do you think about all the different NFTs there? Are you buying these NFTs? Are, am I stupid for getting these? Are you like, man, this game looks stupid? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. And I also just want to tack on really quick. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions, all of the words, the kind words. So many of you guys have great questions and you've been really engaging here and you guys fuel me to do more and to improve this channel so just thank you for taking a shot on a guy that's just getting started here that had no clue how to edit a video to begin with and this journey and also just really hates publicly speaking or really being you know out there in front of people so i just really appreciate uh, each and every one of you means the freaking world to me and I know I know I'll stop getting wishy-washy here And I don't want to bring a tear to anyone's eyes. So guys like I always like to say Coffee's on me. Carl. 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 Carl.